Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another game update overview for The Sims 4. This one is for July 2018. There's no new features introduced with this one, it's just a lot of bug fixes, but it's a pretty good one overall still, because it does fix a lot of major issues that started happening with the Seasons update that broke so many things. So let's get right into this. The first fix is easily one of the biggest issues that occurred with the Seasons update, and it's that where the game would lag when placing wall patterns on blocks that were touching roofs. And, <laughs> well, with the last patch, they said they fixed that, but that was not true. So I had to go into the game and verify for myself. And as you can see here, yep, it, it works just fine. No lag. And this is on a 64 by 64 a lot. So thank goodness this is finally fixed and uh, less headaches will happen for those who focus on building in The Sims 4. The other base game fixes include the reset object cheat now working again for everybody, Sims no longer getting routing failures when trying to enter a room on a foundation level 1 that doesn't have any stairs, neat Sims are no longer uncomfortable when near a fireplace that has assorted upgrades, and the lid for the Grill Wise by Grill Mania has been returned. So, yep, I can verify that the reset cheat does work. I tried that in my game and I had no idea there was a problem with that grill, but yep, it is working. I don't really use grills that often in my game, but maybe once summer rolls around in my game, I'll start using them more often. Now that Seasons is officially a thing. Then we have one major fix for Get to Work, and this is probably the most intriguing part of the whole patch to me, because what the fix is, is that the Lice Cold Retail Freezer can now hold harvestables for you to sell. So basically, we can run grocery stores if you own Get to Work, and this was apparently broken for a long time, and it's finally been fixed. So I'll just show you how this object works in case you're not familiar with it. I actually haven't used it too much myself, but yeah, you can easily search it up in build mode and then you just drag harvestables from your inventory into the freezer. And once they're in the freezer and you're on a retail lot that's owned by your sim, then the harvestables that get placed in that freezer automatically get set as for sale. Then once you open your store, then there is a chance that customers will walk up to it and they'll just <laughs> take a look at it and then you can try to sell a harvestable to them like with any other product that you sell in a retail store. And when you go up to it as a sim that you're actually playing as, then you do have the choice of choosing whatever is currently stocked within that fridge. And then once you buy it, it will be in your inventory to use as you wish. So yeah, I definitely got to set up a grocery store in my game somewhere. The fangs in my save actually run the old salt house in the spice district, but I've converted it into a retail store where it's mostly furniture, but they sell some baked goods as well. So that should be fun to set up at some point. But moving on to cats and dogs, one major annoyance was fixed here, which is that cats and dogs should no longer fill your sims' queue with interactions. We want the pets to be friendly, but perhaps not that friendly. And oh my gosh, yes, I definitely had this bug. I was using a mod by Little Miss Sam that fixes it, but it's good that I don't need to use that mod anymore. With Jungle Adventure, the emotion berries now provide emotions again, which is a very good thing. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to resist writing that pun either, but thank goodness this is fixed. I was <laughs> not happy about that being broken, and October in my Seasons Let's Play is growing some emotional berries in her greenhouse, so it is good that this is all working again. Yeah, you can see on screen that she has become focused and uh, she'll also become very flirty in a second with the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, yeah, Flutterberry. So yeah, I'm really glad because with that, it doesn't sound like a huge deal, but especially if you're trying to use those pressure plates where you need to be in a certain emotion for it to work properly, then uh, 
yeah, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> but thankfully, not anymore. And then, with the Seasons fixes we got, thermostats now have their interactions available when placed on commercial and vacation lots. I'll talk more about this in a minute. But we also got, you can no longer use the woo interaction with bee swarms to <coughs> woohoo with a relative. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. I had no idea that was an issue. <laughs> and Patchy the Scarecrow will no longer change into a human. I never had that either. And they also addressed an issue where roof decorations on some lots did not look appropriate for the Mac version. But with the thermostats on community and vacation lots thing, an issue that I had before the patch was that I would take my sims to a venue where I think it would make more sense for my sims to be dressed in their everyday wear instead of staying in their jackets and well <laughs> very soon after changing into their everyday wear if it was really freezing outside then my sims would get the chilled moodlets because the interior of the building was not warmed up and the thermostats would not work because it would say, like, even if you placed it, that you don't own this lot, so you can't do anything with it. But now you can, so that's pretty good. Although, yeah, now you'll have to just go around to all of your indoor venues and place a thermostat and have your sims adjust the temperature accordingly when they go there, which is a little strange in my opinion because it's like oh it's like as if our sims just own the place but uh, not necessarily unless it's like a restaurant or a retail store or vet clinic that your sim actually owns but yeah i don't know it's uh, it's a bit odd in my opinion but at least it does seem like that the thermostats being adjusted on community lots like it won't add to your power bill because it doesn't have the tip of saying like oh like, costs more money to do this. No, it just says like warmer and cooler when you're hovering over the options. But I guess it is better done this way because if venues were automatically warm by default without a thermostat, then it might not be as good if you want to, for example, have an indoor ice skating venue all year round and then it's just automatically warm inside, but for immersion's sake, you do want it to be cooler inside all the time, so you can do that at least. But that's pretty much it, so I will leave a link to the patch notes in the video description below, and hopefully you enjoy this video. I normally don't do videos on game updates that don't introduce new features, but I thought it would be good to do it for this one because there are some pretty good fixes in here, and I did want to demonstrate the retail freezer from get to work and also show you that yes the wallpaper lag is fixed finally <laughs> but be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe because it lets me know that you like my channel my videos and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content for me i do videos on the sims sonic the hedgehog and more so i will talk to you all later and have a great day thanks for watching